hello everyone welcome back to tableau tutorials in this video we will see that how can we publish our tableau reports to tableau public online now tableau public online is a kind of forum that is available for free and is accessible by anyone all over the internet so we have discussed its advantages and disadvantages already in the introductory videos in case you haven't watched it still i would recommend you to go and watch that first because that's really important to understand the concept of tableau public online now once you have watched that uh, what we would be doing is just seeing its practical applications in this particular video okay so the first question is why do we need that the answer is really simple if you take a look at our file uh, that is book one we have a large number of sheets available over here right all of these sheets are available and they are kind of getting messy up so what we need to do is since we are using the public version of tableau which is available for free we have to store it in the cloud we cannot store it offline we have to store it online the second thing is that uh, we might want to create a new workbook and want to save our progress so that we can refer to it in the future. So today I would be showing you how to set up the account. If you go to file, uh, we have different options like save to Tableau public, save to Tableau public as open from Tableau public and all these options are available, right? So uh, we would be working with them only. Let's just go with save to Tableau public as you can see there's no option to save this online. Let's just go with this option. What it requires you is to sign into Tableau public. So in case you have already made your account with Tableau public, you can simply provide your email and password and just sign in. Otherwise, if you haven't, then you can create one from here. But here, usually it glitches and it won't let you create the account because you can see there is no option of the capture present over here. So it won't work, right? So let's just close this. And how can we create the account now? You have to go to the website of Tableau Public that is public.tableau.com. How to get there? Really simple. You just need to search for Tableau Public on the Google. The first link that you get, just click on that link and you would be taken to this particular website. Here is the option of sign up and sign in. So if you sign in from here also, then also you would be taken to the same Tableau public account that we were able to create or connect through our software. But first we need to sign up. So you need to provide simple details and here you can see the captcha symbol is available. So here you would be able to provide the information. So let me just provide my details like here and a simple uh, password as well. Okay, and the password, sorry, confirming the password and yeah, one more thing. Okay, and agree to the terms of service, agree to this capture, we want bridges. So you have got to solve that as well. Click on verify and create my profile. So now what it will do is create your profile by sending you a verification mail, I think. Yeah, so you need to verify your account first and only you would be able to um, push your visualizations through. So let me just quickly verify my email address. So here I have verified my account and uh, this is what we are getting. If you want, you can create a profile for yourself uh, on this and whatever visualizations you push here would be shown. You can create uh, followers. You can follow others. You can create a account of favorites or a combination of favorites. If you want to edit how the things look you can edit that and that's about the name and if you want you can add a profile picture now you can view the profile as yourself or as others so this is what others visiting your profile would see and this is what you're seeing so 
if you want you can create a visualization directly from here like if i just select on create a viz that's the beta version so i'm not sure if it's gonna work correctly but uh, let's try that otherwise if you aren't able to do that because it might take a, a lot of time for you because depending upon the internet speed and uh, since it's just getting all of the things from the cloud it may be a bit laggy but here you can see it's looking very much similar to what we have in tableau public in case you are not comfortable working online you can just create an account on tableau public and work offline oh, sorry online everything is available right let me just close it because i don't need it and um, now what i can do is i have signed in into this website okay so here what i can do is now i can just save it to my tableau public what i need to do actually is sign in here also because uh, the tableau public account doesn't know about my account that i have created over here so let me just quickly fill in the details and then we would proceed so now our uh, sign in has been done and now what we've got is this message that is the workbook title if you want to provide a particular title for your workbook you can provide that okay so let me see what title i can provide i can just provide it as basics click on save and then it would take a few seconds to publish all of these things online and uh, it's gonna take a few seconds switching real quickly between the things and here it is okay now once the publishing has been done tableau would open the online community or online link for you where your uh, visualization has been published okay now uh, this is what we got this is exactly uh, what we had uh, created right and there are a bunch of options available like you can download it you can share it with others uh, you can go to settings and uh, make sure if that visualization is available on your profile if you want to make sure that uh, others can download or copy this visualization or not let me just close that and then this show sheets option you remember we created different sheets you want all of them to be visible you can just turn this option on so you see there is all these fields available you can just select any of them like the sets field the parameters field or whatever fields you like and that is available along with all of these controls that we created now let's talk about this download option if you want you can just download this particular visualization and all of these options are available so from here if you want you can download it in the form of a tableau workbook and the version or uh, whatever version of tableau you're currently using you can just select that version and click on download so let's just uh, save it in the desktop itself so this is the whole process of downloading uh, or keeping an offline copy of what you have created into your desktop or into your pc otherwise there is no other way uh, now if you want i think you can delete the visualization from here i'm not sure but if you want you can just download it in different formats like ppt the data just the images or the cross tab or the pdf formats this you can explore on your own next we have is the details part this shows you that uh, how many people have viewed your visualization this shows the number of people who have favorited this visualization if you want to edit the details you can edit it like provide it some kind of a description some kind of a external link uh, to your site some kind of inspiration some kind of a title etc everything you can provide right and there is this option to edit if you want to edit it uh, you can do that as well there is the link to your profile you can just select on that and it would take you to your own profile where now you have this visualization as one this is the first visualization you have available here you can just delete it okay so if you just delete it from online account then that particular visualization would be removed from tableau online and you have created an offline copy for yourself so that's the trick of uh, securing your files right but i won't recommend you to use it because as for beginners it's really important that uh, you showcase your work to the community so that's all for this video and uh, thanks for watching